Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Mod Testing. Today we're looking at the Vanilla Genetics Expanded, which is the updated version of uh, the Genetic Rim. Uh, yeah, Genetic Rim, I guess. Now since the whole Vanilla crew is behind it, uh, we need to start off with some research here. Uh, insectoid bioengineering uh, is the first one there. And then we gotta come all the way down here. And let's see, we got genetic duplication, alteration, creation, genetic, mechanohybris, uh, whatever augments and compatibility is that it I think that is it um, let's see um, yeah it looks to be about it now we did look at genetics rim in 1.2 but apparently this one's a little bit different I don't know it has some new mechanics to it, and I guess uh, they changed up a few things, and hey, everybody's a bloody asleep. Of course they are. Alright, we're going to let it run for a second here. While we go look at the thing here, let's see. So they added a whole quality thing now to the genetics so that adds a whole different degree to it because for you didn't have to deal with the uh, different qualities of them uh, let's see what else did they change the looks like they've added some boosters that you can add to it now um, and let's see, they added roaming monstrosities, basically packs of roaming mad hybrids can attack the player colony. Uh, they've added a questing for an abandoned lab, and they've added a quest for a biomechanical lab. They also added where when the hybrids reach the end of their lifespan they they get different diseases which will ultimately kill them and then you have the Arco Centipede project which looks like they might have changed it a bit and might have changed up some of the machines I don't know I guess we'll find out uh, let's see, how close are you to being awake here? 64%. Um, you know what, you can come research, you're good. Test man, how are you? You're 85%, you're good, come research. And frog, how are you? You're 92, that's good too, so you can come do some research for me. So that way we can get this uh, show on the road, because this is going to take a while. Uh, definitely don't have the genetics material that we'll need. So I might have to wait and do a second part for that, I don't know. Insect bioengineering. Let's see, uh, genetics, that gives me the bioengineering incubator oh whoa really you need a geoframe legendary to make that are you kidding <laughs> okay so an ultratech vat tank connected to an advanced life support system often using for less than legal experiments, incubators is capable of mixing genomes and creating genetic modifications in the form of living substance. Okay, but you need a 
bloody legendary one to oh my okay so we're not making that right off I guess let's get the next research this is genetic duplication and this one is going to be the reincombinator well at least that one don't cost me a legendary thing don't exactly have building space for this stuff so let's just throw it out here for now uh, we'll get the next one going here all right this is alteration and that gives me the genome extraction table Yeah, bad weather. I know. I gotta build up. I gotta build a building court. Okay. Um, what was this one again? That was the recombinator. Okay. So then we have the tissue grinder, and then we have the nutrient vet. Um, not linked to a building, huh? Okay, um, not sure what that's all about, but we'll just throw it there for now. Alright, research is done. And this is genetic creation, which is going to be the tinkering table. Which is a huge ass table. Uh, ge genome morpher. Wow, that thing is huge. Holy cripes. Uh, apparently I can't put it outside. Uh, let's see. It's interrupted the ingredients. They've already been inserted and they will deteriorate and be lost. Uh, insert geoprime and blown by two genomes. Uh, okay. So, yeah, apparently I can't build that outside. Um, and unfortunately I have no room inside. Oh my. can't build it inside I was gonna work on a building down here for this stuff but I haven't got that far yet so that built that one's just gonna have to wait I think uh, electric womb is something else I guess I can't build outside oh skin sandbag what I know sandbag air um, I think you're on crack. Oh, building needs to be placed indoors under roof dairy. Okay, that I can understand, but I don't know why you're telling me there's a sandbag there. Ain't no sandbag there. You're a sandbag. Okay, so... The w electric womb thing we can build in here, I guess. Oh, yeah, and I got one of them architect violence generators from the slingshot uh that is just crazy huh don't plan on using it but yeah i got one mm. all right so we're gonna let that go there yeah okay let's see what else we get here uh, research research And that is the Mecha Hybridization. Oh, ain't that a funky ass word. Okay, so you have to build this beacon thing, which you need a Mechanite chip to build it. Okay, so we ain't building one of these. Uh, strange. Uh, appears to be self powered, the faint beeping, and yeah. 
so I'm assuming you get that from mech reads that uh, mechanoid chip I don't know or you might have to get it from the other lab quest but you need this thing to get the uh, get a quest for the mechanite or the mechanoid lab augmentation oh wait was that one there before I didn't see it maybe not that might have just come up with the augmentation no the, this is the augment thing yeah see you let me put that down there okay uh, let's see so I must have missed that one so you need a mechanoid chip for this one and for the other thing Large broadcasting sir. It's important to note that the single antenna can only broadcast a limited number of mechabers, especially up to five of them, regardless of their size complexity. Additional mecha hybrid presented beyond the initial five will no longer receive updates. Ah, okay, so that's how you control your mecha hybrids, I guess. And the final research is genetic compatibility. Uh, which does what exactly? Because uh, I don't see it adding anything. Mm. Let's see. what the heck that one did um ah okay compatibility uh, grow bioengineered implants for humans ah okay so that's what the compatibility did allows you to put it in humans okay yeah Oh my, so definitely gonna need to get a building down down here because can't have it just go outside apparently and that one thing is so big. Oh crap. Right, so I'm going to have to put a building, and then we're going to have to get this stuff built, move it into the building, and then we got to start trying to get some genomes, aye, 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 aye. Alright, so I will be back in a bit, and hopefully have some progress to show for it. Be right back. Alright, and we're back after that extended break of building. Yay! Alright, so while our builders were building, I had a few of them do some hunting and get us a few animals here. So up first on the genome extractor table, you can extract genomes from an Urson, which I believe is a bear type. Uh, uh, yeah. You can either use grizzly bears or polar bears, which we don't have either at the moment, but you know. Then there's the avian variety, which is cassowary, chicken, duck, emu, goose, ostrich, or turkey, which I think we have a turkey. Uh, and then the boom animal would be your boom rat or your boom elope, which I didn't go hunting for either of those because it ain't raining. Uh, muffalo, I don't have a muffalo because they don't fit in the cooler. I did kill a muffalo, but since it didn't fit in the cooler, they took it up to the other place and, uh, end up butchering it so that did not help uh, canine is your arctic wolf your arctic fox your fennec fox 
Fennery Corpse uh, Husky Labrador La Let's try that again. Labrador Retriever. A red Fox Timberwolf. A Warg. A Wolfhound or a Yorkshire Terrier. And then you have your Rodent. Which is your Alpha Beaver. Your Capybara, Chinchilla. Guinea Pig. Hare. Raccoon. Rat. Snow. Snow hare or squirrel. And then we have feline. Which is your cat, cougar, lynx, or panther. And then we got the humans. Human. Which we don't have any of those at the moment either. Alright, and then we got create template genome, which you need a thousand kilogram total mass, huh? Recipe needs corpses totaling 100 kilograms of mass. Seriously? Okay. And this one just allows you to duplicate. Uh, we're not going to deal with that one just yet. What's this? This is the grinder. Geno, Geno frame. Which you need a corpse. Uh, of course you do. Okay, so. You put a corpse in. To get a Geno frame. Which we need that uh, Geno frame of legendary quality to get the bioengineering incubator. Okay, so you need two of the awful to create a pour, right? Yeah. And then two of them to create the normal. Two normals to get a good, two goods to get an excellent. I think is how that works. Let's see. Masterwork. Yeah. So. You need. Two poor to get normal. Two normal to get good. Two good to get excellent. Two excellent to get masterwork. And two masterwork to get legendary. Which is a lot. That we have to get through. To get to that point. And then. These are different. Implants. Uh, animal implant, bear leg, bionic lizard leg, elephant leg. Uh, okay, so craft a prosthetic animal leg strengthened with bear muscles, ending in sharp bear claws that add a powerful melee attack. One geo frame and one ursin geo. To be able to make an animal bionic. Okay. And then you can make human bionics too. Bear claws, digging mole claws, different. Whole bunch of different implants for humans. Yay. Uh. Hibernation module. Craft hibernation module biochip that modifies the brain to reduce the need for sleep. You need one geo frame, one humanoid genome, and one bear genome. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be getting into too many of those right off. Uh, let's see. And then there's the immuno, immuno booster, which is five still, one nitroptamine. Then there's the Harmon booster, one chem fuel, and five still. 
to tell you what they do and stabilize that helps maintain the dominant recessive genome relationship effectively reduces chance of the hybrid having the opposite of intended result aha uh -huh, okay uh, tempo booster, one insect jelly, five steel, and this one helps speed up the growth process, having the time it takes to complete. Okay. And then fertility unblocker, takes one medicine and five steel. And allows hybrids to develop functionally sexual organs. Effectively allows hybrids to reproduce with the exact same species. Ah. Insectoid hybrids are always incapable of reproducing though. Okay. Uh, stabilizer. Uh, you need one hormone booster and one immuno booster, and that uh, effectively increases the growth time by 50% in exchange for vastly increased chance of obtaining the intended result. So you're more likely to get what you want, but it takes longer to get it is what I understand that to be. Uh, this one takes one advanced component. And apparently that's it. An advanced component. Uh, Self-assembling machinery that fuses with the spe specimen's nerve center during the growth process. Effectively allows hybrids to be drafted increases chances of failure due to the introduction of invasive foreign material. Okay, so I guess that's what the antenna thingy was for. And then this is a genome extractor. Uh, for you still one component. Genomes from a tamed or dead animal. This ex can be extract tier 1 and tier 2 genomes. Okay, so what do I need that for if I don't know? I no idea. Anyway, so we have this stuff. Probably going to need another polar no doubt for uh, genomes most likely I don't know I don't know what else we're gonna need down here uh, what is this big thing that took up all my space oh this is the uh, machine that you put once you have your uh, Genome, your geo frame. You can select a booster, your geo frame, and then your dorm or your dominant genome and your secondary genome, and then this tells you what you could get, I guess. So uh, we will see. Now I'm pretty sure that I'll probably need this. I'll probably have to freeze these things. So. Uh, let's see if I can get somebody to work on these. Okay. Uh, everybody's going to be trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I'll have to get stuff. Probably have to do a second part tomorrow. And I'll have to get some of this stuff caught up. Where are you going with that turtle? You get your ass up here with that turtle. We're not taking it up top side either. Want it down here. And yeah, you're 
lucky. Where is Test at then? Here it comes slowly. Taking his good old time getting down here. Hell, Frog got down here quicker. And she went and picked up still. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to extract from a turkey. He is a turkey. <laughs> okay, what are you doing now? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that set up, huh? Alright, um, well, I guess I'll tell me if I need to... Let's see, uh... Yep, spoils in two days if not refrigerated. I thought as much. Ah, cripes. Okay. How about you? Do you need refrigerated? No. That's good. So I can just let you lay there. <laughs> Pray at the store you somewhere. But, uh. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more, uh animal bodies I guess mm. cripes okay can we get down there and finish these uh, coolers I know the genomes ain't gonna spoil for two days but the quicker I can get them into a cooler the better I'd feel uh, any point now thanks come on froggy there you go. Right. Uh, G no, oh, no. What are these things called? Oh, G E no. <laughs> G E no. Okay. There we go. Genetic material. Okay, so tier ones are those. Tier two are colossals, equine, ah, uh, okay, uh, insectoid and reptile. Okay, so anyway, we will. What are you eating there for? Seriously? I build places for you to eat and you gotta eat without a table. Are you kidding me? Come on. Get outside. There is a place right over here that you can go eat. See? Right over there. You don't need to eat here. Go eat. Thank you. That way at least you're not getting without eating without a table. Alright. And I want to get these put into the cooler. And I guess for now we will call it there till I can get more stuff together and we will finish looking at some more of it tomorrow I guess. So come back for part two and hopefully we'll be able to look at more of this mod and see what it has to offer I don't know for sure but we'll see what we can see anyway thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that fun stuff till next time I'm out of here bye bye